everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is one that I have been working on for a couple weeks, so I hope that you guys really enjoy it. Basically, I'm gonna be doing a huge room makeover. So William is moving into a different room. If you don't know who William is, he is my four-year-old son. He turned four yesterday, but he had this bedroom when he was a baby and then we moved him in, moved him into the smaller room and now we want to move our younger son who is seven months old into the smaller room and him back into this bigger room. So basically I wanted to do a toddler boy makeover. I asked him what kind of theme he wanted because I didn't want it just to be about me and how I wanted to decorate. So he told me he wanted a basketball room and he calls all the sports basketball, football, baseball, all of it so I went ahead and did like a full-on just sports themed room and this video is actually sponsored by Ikea which I'm so excited about we are huge Ikea fans in this house our couches are from Ikea our dining room tables from Ikea we love Ikea so you'll notice um, some different furniture pieces as well as like the rug the curtains some linens will all be from Ikea and I'll have everything that I used from them down below so you guys have easy access if you are interested in getting anything but I'm really excited to show you guys this room makeover I kind of filmed the whole process from beginning to end so I hope you guys enjoy okay so here is the before shot of the room so like I said this was Williams nursery when we first moved in and then it became the guest room and then it became sort of like a storage room so we went ahead and cleared it out to get it ready for the room makeover and I don't know if you guys can tell on camera but this room is kind of an odd shape it is very long and skinny I've always struggled with furniture placement in here but I do think I nailed it instead of getting like a regular twin bed or a queen bed which is what I was going back and forth on we ended up picking out a day bed and I think it worked perfectly for the space Okay, so I'm just gonna do a little voiceover right now because in the original clip I was talking forever. So basically this is the bed that I picked out it is the Hems day bed from Ikea and I love it. I think it was the perfect solution for the space. So basically it is a twin sized bed. However, you can completely pull it out and put an additional twin sized mattress and then it basically becomes like a king sized bed. It has the little drawers underneath for the storage. And then as you can see, I picked out the Tolsta armchair for the corner over there. I just felt like it needed a little something extra in the room, but I'm so happy with this choice when I was looking at beds I couldn't figure out what to do because if you placed a bed one way then you wouldn't really have a walkway around the bed and if I placed it the other way it would be blocking the window so I think the day bed was the perfect solution Look what came with the curtain rod. I've never seen this before, it's kinda neat. So it has this to cut out and then you kinda put it on the windows to help you, I don't know, that's nice, right? Now you'll notice I didn't put those papers directly on the window like you're supposed to. That's just because I wanted the curtain rod to be higher up and wider than the window. That way the ceilings would appear a little bit taller and the window would appear a little bit bigger.
So something that I wanted to do just to kind of customize the furniture a little bit was get knobs that went with the room decor. So I found these sports themed knobs. There's a soccer ball, basketball, football, baseball, and I switched them out on the top two drawers on the dresser as well as the nightstand and William loves them. I think it's just a fun little way to kind of customize the furniture and make it fit your space a little bit more. Okay, so I bought some paint. <laughs> James cut out a little slot right here so I could get this color matched at Home Depot. We painted the walls this color, hmm, I wanna say like two and a half years ago. I don't know where the paint is. I have no idea what the color is. So I took it to Home Depot to get a color match. I'm hoping it's the right color. If not, we're just gonna go with it. But I need to paint these slots right here. So this is the color of the room when we moved in. Crazy enough, this was brown and down here, was just a lighter version of this. The whole room was brown, 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 brown. And the previous owners also had a shelving unit up here. So we kept it up there um, previously, but now we decided to take it down. So now we need to paint these little slots right here. By the way, if you guys see a little splotch on the camera right here, I dropped my camera on the floor like two or three days ago, and now I can't get that to go away. <laughs> But this is another spot that I need to touch up with paint, something that we just filled in. So, like I said, I went to Home Depot. I got the smallest little can of paint that I could get. And I am going to paint those little spots. And I'm going to hope that it is a good color match. So I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but this rug is so soft. I was a little bit nervous when I picked it out, and this is the Ikea Spore Up rug. Just because all the other rugs around my house are patterned and you know have different colors in them, and this one was so plain, but I wanted something that was just beige to help warm up the room since there's a lot of grays in the room, and I love this one. It is so soft and comfortable. It reminds me of when you move into a new house and they have new carpets. That's like the feeling it has. So if you guys are in need of a beige, just plain rug, highly recommend this one. Oh, a big, big soccer ball? Yeah. So I found this a soccer ball like bean bag thing online. And basically it's like a bean bag that you stuff yourself with a bunch of stuffed animals. So William has a bunch of stuffed animals that uh, he doesn't necessarily use every day, but I don't want to get rid of because they have a lot of memories like from different family members and you know, yada, yada, yada. So I had them in trash bags in his closet. But instead, we are gonna stuff this big soccer ball with them, and it's supposed to fit like a ton of stuffed animals, and then it becomes a huge soccer ball, soccer ball like decor piece, or it could be used as like a beanbag chair. So I thought he'd really like that. This stuffed animal is my stuffed animal that my mom gave me when I was younger because we used to have to go to my dad's house for the summer um, because they're divorced. So every summer we would go to my dad's house for the summer and I always missed my mom so much. So she gave me this, let me see. It's a recording of my mom's voice. I love you, Lauren. Hold on, honey. I love you, Lauren. So I would just play it over and over again and that's my mom saying I love you, Lauren.
Okay, it's almost the decorating part, but I was feeling really overwhelmed because the room was just so messy. It was trash, there was stuff everywhere. So I decided to just take a moment and pick it all up, clean it up so I could kind of look at it and see where I wanted everything to go. Okay, so these curtains, love them. They're from Ikea. They're like a really nice material. They're navy. They work so well with blacking out the room um, so that when we'll actually start sleeping in here, it will be great because I wanted them to be like blackout curtains. However, as you can see, I got them in a size like way too long. <laughs> They're just way too long. And as you can see, I hung them very high to the ceiling. I went a few inches above the window and they're still too long. So what I did is I went on Amazon and I just bought some of this fabric fuse. It's just like one of those, it's basically gonna hem the curtains just by using this really sticky like double-sided fabric tape. So I'm gonna attempt to do that now and hopefully it works out well. Now, I'm not sure if this is the process that you're supposed to do, but this ended up working out perfectly. So basically, when the curtains were hanging up, I took a marker and measured where it would hit directly on the ground on both sides of the curtain. And then when I laid it flat on the floor, I measured to see exactly how many inches that was. And then I kind of marked it all the way along the edge of the curtain so that I could place the tape down and then fold it over. This was such a super easy, simple process. That tape was like $3 on Amazon and it worked perfectly. So if you are needing to hem something, whether it be curtains like this or even like clothes, I would definitely recommend this tape. It was so simple and easy. I'm so happy it worked out perfectly I don't know if you guys can tell it is like sitting oh that's some paint I need to scrape off it is sitting on the floor like at the perfect length so yeah that worked out great I just noticed there's a hole in my shirt so please ignore that but this is William's favorite part of the room was this big basketball so either him or my husband picked out all of the wall decor because I did want William to feel like this was his space and it was all about him and you know however he wanted it to look. So these picture frames from Ikea are really nice. They are 12 by 16 with an eight by 10 picture that can go in there. And they are so light, which is what I really like because I think what I'm going to do is hang them up with actual thumbtacks, which is what I do around the house when frames are super light like this. Or I at least hang them up with thumbtacks to begin with until I figure out like exactly you know, that they look good. That way, if I put them in the wrong spot or they're not even or whatever, it's only a thumbtack hole and then I go in with like a bigger nail. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Now you may notice that 
the way I'm hanging things might be a little weird. I actually love how it turned out. When I went into this room, my idea was to have the W in the middle of the bed and then maybe have like a really big basketball and a big baseball on either side. But then I decided that was a little unrealistic. I didn't want that much stuff hanging over William's bed. He is only three. He gets tempted to stand on the bed and touch everything. And I just didn't want too much stuff above the bed. So I actually ended up putting the majority of the wall decor in the corners and I actually love how it turned out. I don't know, it's so cozy and I don't have to worry about anything falling on him in his bed. So if you're wondering where my mindset was with hanging stuff, that's kind of what it was. It was just make it work, make it look good without putting too much stuff on top of him and in arm's reach. Okay, this ceiling fan, I don't think the light bulbs have been changed out or this has been dusted or anything since we moved in. There's not really any, not that bad of dust on the actual blades just because we're hardly ever in this room. But I'm gonna go ahead and dust this out and switch out the light bulbs so that they're all consistent. The great thing about this room is they have dimmable lights. So I really like that. I made sure to get the dimmable ones. <laughs> This is so funny. So like I said, we've, we've never really used this room much. And I always thought that this light fixture was like a frosted glass and I didn't like it. Even with the lights on, it looked very like yellowish and just very frosted. Well, what do you know? I actually cleaned it and dusted it and it's actually clear and it looks so much better. going through and organizing all of William's clothing. So I actually only used the bottom three dresser drawers because I wanted him to be able to reach and get himself dressed and not have to worry about him climbing up to get any of his clothes. So next is one of the most important steps. I'm gonna be anchoring the furniture. I did not forget to do that. I wanted it to do it as one of the last steps just to make sure that this was exactly where I wanted the dresser to be. So I am just anchoring it into the wall and then screwing it into the dresser so I don't have to worry about any of the furniture tipping over on William or Bennett or anything like that. Now, if you're wondering what that like foam long thing is, I found that on Amazon. I thought it was perfect. It is actually like a toddler bed rail. Well, it's not a rail, but it's so that they do not fall out of the bed and I love it. While I'm filming this voiceover, William's actually been sleeping in the room for about a week now and it works perfectly. You just put it on top of the mattress and then you put the um, fitted sheet on top and it stays in place and it makes it so that he doesn't fall out of the bed. So highly recommend that. So 
So now I'm just adding some final touches, some last decor pieces. Now, pretty much all of the sports related decor that I found was from Hobby Lobby. So if you're also in the market for some sports decor, highly recommend them. Everything was relatively cheap. You just have to make sure you only buy it when it's 50% off at Hobby Lobby. Everything goes to 50% off every other week. So if it's not on sale one week, it will be on sale the next week. But yeah, they had a lot of sports options. So that worked out perfectly. Okay, I'm about to show you guys the finished room. Let me step on in here and shut the door. Okay, I love how it turned out. So real quick, let's take another look at the before. And here is the after. So yeah, this is the final room. I am so happy that we went with this furniture. When we bought this house, the people that lived here previously, this was their son's room as well, but they actually had like a regular bed and it was centered with the window and came out and the room felt really long and small. And when William had this room previously, when he had a crib, I don't know, the layout just felt weird. But with this day bed from Ikea and having it be like a day bed that could be centered in the middle of the wall and then having the dresser i don't know it just feels so much more open there's so much space i'm so happy we went with that furniture so when you walk in i have the soccer ball that's filled with all the stuffed animals right here and then we have a little laundry basket we have this little locker room sign where he can like hang stuff and then when you come a little farther into the room we have his dresser and remember I switched out those little knobs which I love and then there's actually a couple piggy banks up there I turned them around though so you couldn't see the piggy bank slot from the front so you can have it forward like a piggy bank or just have it as some decor and then I actually love this little corner over here I don't know why I think it's so cute this is William's favorite part of the room he said is the big basketball I still need to put some pictures in here honestly we don't have a ton of really good like family pictures or anything like that. I wanted a picture of maybe Will and Bennett together and then Will with me and James. So I just need to find some good some good ones for those frames. And then we have this chair here which is also from Ikea and is very very comfortable. It's also bigger and like more spacious than I thought it was would be. And I had this pillow from William's nursery when he was really little and it matched the curtains perfectly. And then there's his little nightstand over there, and I changed out the little knobs. I got him a cool baseball lamp, as you can see. A little sign, we have a football. I wish I could explain to you guys how cozy it feels. Maybe if I close this window. Which, by the way, if you need shades, for your room, highly recommend Ikea. So I actually didn't measure correctly, so it covers the actual window, but there is a gap. I don't know how to explain it. It covers where the actual window is, but the pane is a little bit larger. I just measured wrong. However, even with that gap, these and also these blackout curtains from Ikea are crazy. So it is bright outside, and if I was to turn the light off, It is so dark in here. There's still a light on. <laughs> but I don't know if you can tell. Let's see. There you go. Yeah, I'm very, very excited about that because for the longest time, William has woken up so early whenever it's super bright in his room. So this is gonna be perfect. But yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much to Ikea for sponsoring today's video. They're always just the best to work with. 
But yeah, I hope you guys like it. I am so happy. I'm the most happy because William loves it so much. Every time he comes in here, he talks about how cool his new room is, how he loves it, how it has basketballs. He just absolutely loves it. I kind of struggled when I was trying to figure out how I wanted his room to be. I kept kind of being like, when I was trying to design it, going with my style and oh, like this or that. And then I was like, you know what? This is William's room. The rest of the house can be super like neutral and greenery and stuff like that. But Will's room, we're going all out. We're getting sports posters and basketballs and tons of different stuff because I just want him to feel cozy in here and happy. And I really think that we accomplished that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. And thank you guys so much for watching.